Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. We are in episode 3 now, and Bean Man has something to say. So, a little issue has come up on the server where I was accused of stealing things such as a bed, some saddles and stuff. We got it all resolved, but I am a little sus right now, so we gotta stay a little low-key from, you know, these admins like Wild Raptor. But, everything's fine, and I'm okay, and I'm gonna continue to post videos and hold no judgment against anybody. So what I'm hoping to get done in this video is we're gonna farm some more, we're gonna donate some leather because there's a little job over there. I'm be, I can make five diamonds off of that if I'm like the first to give all this leather for the community. And uh, we're gonna do mainly mining today for diamonds because we have a measly four diamonds. So. And hopefully meet up with Jelly later in this video and maybe upgrade our house some. Who really knows? Well, we're gonna get cracking on that though. Let's start with some mining.
Okay guys, that's gonna conclude our mining trip. I basically just came up right after I found those six diamonds because I realized maybe I should get fortune before I start getting more diamonds because fortune is so helpful and it just makes everything way faster. So now we have a total of 10 diamonds. So now we just have to work on getting an actual um, crafting, not crafting, enchanting table. So I don't, there's a community one, so I think we're just gonna donate all the bookshelves so that we can get one for everyone instead of making our own to just to save up on the diamonds. So let's start cow breeding. Yay, fun. It's not fun at all. So first we're gonna need some wheat and then we're just gonna need to breed all these boyos and then kill them. But they give us a good food source, so I'm very happy for that. It's always good to have a good food source, especially in the beginning when you're just eating leftover scraps like mutt and fish that you find in the ocean. So there's one other. So it seems like most of them are dropping leather, which is good, and meat, but usually I don't get this good of like a leather drop, like every one so far has dropped leather. Like I haven't had one that hasn't, which is really good, okay there we go, way to curse it. But basically this is pretty good turnout, um, all this leather, oops I kinda like hit them all there. So, uh, we don't want to kill a lot, but there's a lot of babies, so those will grow up, and then we'll just, uh, we'll leave that much for breeding later. I didn't want to kill all of them, but I wanted to kill most of them. Now, let's see how much leather we have total. I remember it's six, so it's 39. Now we just need the sugar cane for that, so. And we have a big sugar cane farm. I kind of expanded it earlier off camera. But, let's get these bookshelves. Um, let's sleep, and so we made a total of 13 bookshelves with no leather left over, and I'm pretty sure they only needed 15, so this is a really good, really, really good day, so I get to claim some diamonds, it seems, very soon once we get two more bookshelves, but that's only six more, like six leather which could be more or less than six cows, so. We really only need to breed like one more time. So this is the trading outpost. It's pretty small, very not that spacious, but basically you can put um, jobs in here. So 15 bookshelves, you just need to turn these in and I get five diamonds from it. So that's from Raptor, he's on right now. I think he's AFK and then we get five diamonds from that, so it is really, really good. Um, but the community enchanting table courtesy of LSTC and the whole server, so, or we could just put the bookshelves there to make them, uh, but I don't know, I kinda want the diamonds over the book, over like the community chanting right now, and I keep falling in holes. What is wrong with me? 
yeah, so like I was saying, I just want um, the diamonds right now over everything because I feel like diamonds would really help me out a lot, but so would fortune. But I don't know what to think, so I guess follow the money and see where it goes. Okay, let's go see if we can breed them again. It is a new day. Okay, it doesn't look like we can, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and kill for the six leather. There's two. Ah, oh, there's none. Three. Five. Ooh, we just need one more. And there's a few cows left. There we go, we got all six. That is perfect, absolutely. Now, I probably shouldn't have done that with the cows, but I mean, why not? Like, I kind of have to. Boom, boom, 15 bookshelves. So, let's go back and read this paper, because I kind of forgot what it said. Okay, so, basically, what the book said was, um, take this, and then whenever they are online, so Wild Raptor, I think he might be online if we text him. And then we just give him the 15 bookshelves to that him and he'll give us the 5 diamonds. So let's see if we can try and message him. Okay, so it shows he's online. I'm pretty sure he, that means he's AFK. So we're just going to have to trade with them later. And let's... For the best, but I think we're going to meet up with Jelly soon. So... Fun. Let's go see if we can try and get in a voice call with him. Wow, Jelly! Let me go see what he is doing. Hello, Jelly. Oh Hello. no, he is fighting me! Say, I don't want to die. Um, so yes, this is Jelly, everyone. Say hi. Here are some berries. Oh uh, yes. He, he likes berries quite a lot. He tried killing my cow with it earlier. If you didn't oh, see. Oh, yeah, that's why I got it. I just like to it. <laughs> yeah. Down. Um, so, yes, this is my friend Jelly, we've known each other, he actually invited me to the server. Well, actually, I saw he was doing it, and I was like, ooh, let me join, so. Self-invited. Yeah, I self-invited myself because I saw that he was doing it, I was like, ooh, don't let me. Um, and he's gonna farm my crops now, so. <laughs> Not for <fully, laughs> I'm just stealing them. Yeah. This is theft. Indeed. Um, oh wait, I don't like that. Um. <laughs> So, uh, what have you been doing? I've just been building my base and trying to start up my potato shop. Oh, so you own the potato shop. Yeah, I accidentally went in there. So this coming soon sign kind of just, um, oh, was yeah, gone. I yeah. I put it back. Yeah, so you have the potatoes, I have the wheat. Um, if you ever need- Oh, I was also going to- Yes, farming stuff. Yeah, um, if you need cows, we can negotiate some stuff, or wheat or something, because I've actually been working on the job tavern. Yeah, so Wild Raptor put in a job for bookshelves, and I have all 15. I don't know if they're going to go to the community, so it's like a win-win for me, but I will get five diamonds off of that whenever he can return my message and everything. That was pretty cool. Ooh, that is pretty snazzy. Okay, I also wanted to talk to you later, like, later down the line. Do you want to make a shared industrial district and share farms and output from them? Yeah, I mean, that would be really cool to do, um, and everything. My yeah, we should do that. Doesn't really have to be the one. Yeah. Okay. Right. That will be very big-brained. No smooth-brained ideas here. Uh-huh. For self-benefit, but also maybe making some money on the side. Indeed. I see. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for talking to me. That, um, for yeah. Farm as well. Yes, indeed. Okay, bye-bye, Jelly. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end the video here, but I did some things off camera. So we ended up getting our five diamonds, and then we created a little makeshift base down here in the basement using smooth stone and wood with some ladders. It's the exact same dimensions as up here, so that's great. 
But otherwise, I think next video we might set up a shop or continue doing our base. But um, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, please like and subscribe. If you liked it, I'll be posting more on here. Thank you and goodbye.